Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 6.4.5 Selected Stream and Splug Dispersal. This is going to be another video on exploration. So the nodes are going to be flux dispersal. Every time you hit the opponent, he's going to gain a charge that will reduce the damage taken by 5% up to a maximum of 20 charges. And you can remove those charges by using a heavy attack. For Selective Steam, every 20 seconds, the defender will regen back to full unless there is an incinerate or a shock debuff on him. And pull is going to be, if you use a projectile attacks, that's going to do 100% more damage, but the contact attacks will do 75% less. So just the best champions here are going to be your champions that inflict heavy attacks and have shocks and incinerate. So Sunspot, Hyperion, Red Goblin, Modok, all are some good options. If not, other options that you can use are the champions that have more than 10 seconds of duration on shocks and incinerate. So your Black Widow Deadly Origin, your Kitty Pride, your... Uh, 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 Warlock, Iron Man, Infinity War got some good options. If not, other options that you can use are also mentioned there. If you're going to use Domino with Red Hulk, that is going to be tricky because it's only 2 seconds of debuff. You can add Massacre on it and make it 3 seconds, but then that will take 3 champions from your team. And the cheese option is going to be Modok, so we'll discuss about him more. Uh, whenever the selective stream cooldown is going to finish, he's about to regen the opponent. You can just throw an SP1 and that will reverse the heals. The mini boss is going to be Domino and the champs, mostly tech champions will uh, tackle her and the boss is going to be Hydra Adaptoid, more on them later but make sure that you bring a good counter to Nick Fury because Nick Fury is a really really annoying fight in this chapter. Now before we jump into the podcast make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications, all of that really helps me out a lot. Now before you start the path guys, I would highly suggest you to boost as much as possible. I would say at least 20% of HP and damage and 15% uh, of attack boost. Now this will give you a good start because this path is can be really annoying because the defenders are a little tough and also whenever if you are by mistake you are not able to have an incinerator shock debuff when the selected stream timer is over he will regain back to full health and it's really frustrating so the faster the more damage you have the faster they will kill it and you will not not have that issue that the fight will go longer so for hood just be careful not to get hit because you will just uh, the damage will detonate on you and it will hurt a lot and only keep him to an sp1 and uh, if you're not going to use champions with heavy attacks that can incinerate, so for example in my case it's going to be an Hyperion, I can use a heavy attack into an SP1 that can give incinerate. If you can't do that then use champions that have long incinerate timers. So for example you can use here Hulkbuster, you can use Red Goblin, you can also use here Sunspot and also Human Torch will work and you will have class advantage with the smolders and everything. But I don't recommend Human Torch to be honest because he will not be useful in the upcoming paths but then again it's your choice if he's the only one you have and that can incinerate then you have to bring him. Next up is going to be Howard the Duck. Now I'm going to use a Hyperion again. Same thing. I will just uh, throw my special, uh, throw my SP3 first, so I can get those charges. And when I have those charges on the next cycle of Selective Stream, I will start throwing SP1s. Actually, I just started throwing SP1s right away. So a better way to work with Hyperion is once you're boosted, you can wait for the first cycle and you can build up to your sp3 as soon as the cycle for selective stream finishes the first cooldown you can throw your sp3 that will give you three charges and that will also increase your damage on the incinerate on sp1 so you can start throwing them but in my case i think i have already boosted a lot so that's why i'm just going in and throwing my special with hyperion if you get the timing right you can do an sp1 and an sp2 rotation within the selective stream timer so that will make the fight faster but always to be safe, I would say just throw only your SP1s and you can bring over the duck down. 
Now some other good options here are going to be Magneto because the Metal Champion as soon just build up to 40 prowess charges and throw an SP3 right after he regains all of his health. Also Elsa Bloodstone because Howard is an Excel Champion and Red Goblin and you can always cheese it with a Modoc so all of these are some good options against Howard the Duck. Now this fight is probably the most annoying fight of uh, the path, arguably one of the two annoying, uh, three annoying fights here. The first one is going to be Punisher. Now always keep him to an SP1 because his SP1, um, SP2 does a lot more block damage. With SP1 if you bring in a champion that has more uh, HP or that is more uh, tanky, you can get through this. So for example, I am going to use a uh, Moleman here. Now Moleman has a... 10 second of shock on his sp1 so all i'm doing is i'm gonna hit into him and as soon as the timer for the selective stream passes the halfway point like just there i will throw a, a sp1 so uh, there is a constant shock on him so i don't need to worry about him get, regaining all the health back and as soon as the selective stream timer is, is reset i will try to do some heavies to remove the flux dispersal charge now this is not really like the best way to deal with him uh, ideally you should bring in champions that have heavy and incinerate on the same so for example if you bring in a modok and you only do parry and heavy that would be amazing and you can easily kill him off or even with the modok sp1 would work great if you can bring in hyperion as well hyperion works really well here with the heavy into sp1 that is also a really good option warlock with his armor up will be good and tanky you can even use warlock's sp1 for shock and also um uh, removing his power like power draining him so he never throws an sp1 so you do not lose much help so my choice is going to be a mold when you can bring in other champions as well they work really really good here as well Next defender is going to be a Joe Fixit who is not really difficult, he doesn't have the best of armor so you can kill him quick. One of the best options to kill him off here would be Elsa Bloodstone because of her extra damage against Excel Champions and the natural class advantage. Moleman is also another option because of the class advantage and longer shock, uh, shock debuffs. If not, Hyperion also works. Also Modok with the cheese method also works. Also Modok with parry and heavy also works. Hulk Buster is also a good option so it's not too difficult. This SP1 does block damage so if it's, it would be good if you can just push him to an SP2. The way you do it is to use 4 hit combos and block and that will force the AI to come and attack into you and then you can use your parries and re-parries and push him to an SP2. His SP2 is much easier to evade and with less block damage but all in all it's not like a really difficult fight it's one of the easier fights in the path.
Next one is a very very annoying Musakre. Now he's not very difficult to deal with. It's just sometimes he gets really stubborn to throw his specials and he really wants to throw an SP2. So you just have to keep baiting and staying back. Keep baiting and staying back. So all you need to do is to keep him to an SP1 because his SP1 is super easy to evade and bring in the champion that can do parry and heavy style. So Modok, Hulkbuster, um, Hyperion, all of these are some good options and do not in any case push him to an sp2 because with the pull the projectile will do a lot of damage all i'm trying to do here with hyperion is to throw my sp1s and melt him down because he doesn't have much of armor he's very high damage and low armor type of champion he doesn't have much armor he will melt away very very quick and remember we have also boosted for the path so that is also helping our damage increase by 35 percent so the shorter the fight the better for these type of nodes so you can finish off the path much much quicker Now next defender is going to be a cable now cable will be annoying in quite a few things like because his sp1 does a lot of block damage and when you push him to an sp2 uh, he also has a chance to get um, region and as well as power gain so you need to be very careful how you approach him some good champions i would suggest would be warlock will be really great here because with warlock you can put up on those transmute virus and then you can power drain him so he will work really well Hyperion will be a really good option here just parry heavy into sp1 would really drain him out and then hulk buster would do wonders here because of his power gain and his shock so he can just keep him to a corner and do a lot of damage very quick and again modok is also a good option just bring him down to 50 percent before 20 second the selective stream timer is up and just throw an sp1 when when the selective stream timer is about to refresh and that will reverse all the heals and kill him off my option is going to be a magneto now i will build up to 40 prowess charges and have an sp3 ready and as soon as the selective stream timer is refreshed he gets full health i will just throw my i will just throw my sp3 and kill him off also because of 85% reduction and magnetize sometimes the selective stream trimer will also not work for him so that is also a plus but again with all the boost you have you done and one with sp3 is more than enough to kill him off with magneto This next fight is going to be the most annoying fight of the whole path. That is going to be a Nick Fury. So when you pick your team, make sure you bring a counter for him because he will make or break your fight for the whole path. Now, with Nick Fury, I would highly suggest you to bring in Newton Champion. That is the best way to go. Sunspot is a really good example here that you can use him. You can slowly build up your charges and then throw a big sp2 at the end of it and keep building up with those sp3 keeping your incinerates up that will keep nick fury at bay if you have it rank 5 kitty pry would also be a good option but i don't think most people have it but her incinerates and sp3 and sp1 will help you if you're going to use a domino with red hulk that's a good option but i would suggest you to bring the whole synergy with masakare as well so you get extra uh, timing on your uh, on your uh, debuff because usually it's only two seconds but with massacre it will go up to three so you can time it with the selective stream cooldown if not there's always going to be a modok just take take him down to 50 percent and when the selective stream timer is about to refresh throw an sp1 from modok and that's about it and with hyperion but with hyperion you have to play no parry style because he's not a mutant champion uh, that will give Nick Fury a lot of tactical charges and he will go unblockable and he will go cause a lot of problems but with Hyperion's constant power gain you can always keep throwing only SP1s and keep him incinerated and you can kill him off. It will be a slow fight as well. 
my choice is going to be a Magneto. Now he's not a metal champion, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna boost up to max. So we use a 20% damage and HP boost, and we've also used a 15% attack boost. Now you notice that I failed for the first time. I wasn't able to drop him down to zero, and because of Selector Steam timer came up, he got regained full of his health. Now I'm gonna build up again to 35 uh, charges and I'm gonna throw an SP3 again because I'm sure I'm gonna get him on the next one. As soon as you get that 20% extra damage you'll be able to kill him off and you can get destroy his LMD and then he will uh, take damage from his second life. Now what happens if you're using a rank 5? If you're gonna use a Magneto for a rank 5 against this fight I would highly suggest you to drop your big boost. So 20% attack and 30% HP and damage boost. So that will do the trick. I've tested it out so that really bleeds him out to zero and that gives him onto his second fight, uh, onto his second life. So it's very important here. Again, I don't have any other good mutant champion that has incinerator shock that I can bring against him. So my only option was Magneto. But if you have other options like Domino or if you have like a Sunspot or even if you have a Hyperion for this fight, you can use them. Even a Storm will work really well here with the synergy with the uh, Apocalypse. So she will work really well here. If not, then not the best but magneto is also option here so here you will notice that he will bleed out and his lmd will be destroyed and he will go into second life now once he goes into the second life the annoying part is even if he's losing health and uh, as soon as the selective stream timer is refreshed his health will be gained back into full so you cannot wait for him to go down to 30 person and then throw your special so what you need to do again you need to build if you're using a magneto you're gonna build up your prowess charges and your sp3 and then do the same process again the one did you on the first time to kill him off so yeah this is a really really annoying fight so i hope you bring in the right counters for him easier way would be to use an incinerate and shock champion and uh, if you can't do that then magneto is another option but you really need to think about this fight when you're planning your path Next up is going to be a Punisher 2099. Now he's also annoying fight. There. He has a lot of block damage on his special. So I would say just keep him to an SP1 that does a little less damage. And a great option here can be your Hyperion that I'm using. You can also use a Magneto in the same way. You can build up to 40 prowess charges. And as soon as the timer for selective stream is refreshed, you can throw that and that will kill him off as well. Uh, Hulkbuster would be a good option here as well. Also Mole Man, all of these tanky champions, the same what we use for Punisher will work here as well. If not, um, Warlock is a really good option. Use it the same way you use him against him against a, a cable. Just slowly build up your transmute virus and once you have an SP1, you just throw that and that will give a long shock damage to him that will also trump your uh, selective stream timer and you will do damage and he will not throw any special at you so warlock is also a good option here so yeah nothing much guys here make sure you're boosted and you will be easily able to bring him down just he will give you a bit of block damage but that's okay is is the last fight before the mini boss and then we go on to the mini boss that is going to be domino
and the mini boss is going to be a domino now on this part there is no extra nodes on the mini boss she will have the same selective stream pull and flux dispersal now when i made my team i made sure that i bring in guardian just only for domino because this domino can be really annoying if you miss out your shock or incinerate debuff on him and she gets to full power because of her critical failures and a lot of damage so first things first you have to make sure that you bring keep a tech champion only for domino just to avoid being unlucky and uh, giving her more lucky on her but that will help you with the fight now once you have that out of the way then this is like a really slow fight but depending on what champion you bring i went for the slow option with guardian but because i knew that she will reduce the ability accuracy of guardian and that will keep a permanent shock on domino so i don't even have to worry about selective stream but if you not, do not have a guardian if you want to use some other champions make sure that have long duration shocks or incinerate so i'm talking about for example warlock he has more than 10 seconds of shock same goes for your hulk buster also the best uh, there is sentinel that has a shock on sp1 and an incinerate on sp2 also your iron man infinity war he also has a long duration stun so uh, no, long duration shock if not there is always modog that you can cheese through but with modog remember that he will take quite a few damage with his uh, uh, with the unlucky and all of uh, the usual shenanigans of domino what you could do is you can bring if you're using a modok you can use a tech champion first and you can bring her down to half health and then quit before the selective stream timer goes off and then you can just bring in modok and just build up to an sp1 fast and throw an sp1 and that will clear off that's another option but then again it's up to you right here you notice that she go went to an sp3 but i was able to throw my fourth light attack and uh, remove some of the power and she went back to an sp2 so just be careful about she she can be really really annoying when it comes to throwing her specials but you have to play around it and with guardian i'm just building up with two sp2s with those charges and i'm gonna unleash my sp3 to do a lot of damage so guardian is a slow but a safe option but if you're gonna bring in a champion and we're gonna plan for this part i would say tech champions with long duration shocks and incinerates are the best way to go unless you have a cheese option that is going to be modok And the boss is going to be an adaptoid hydra now he is going to have metador force of will unblockable specials vigor and armor break immunity now again um, 
there's quite a few options you can use here. You can use nullify stagger champions like Doom or uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant that can just stop him from getting unstoppable. The main thing you need to take care about here with this fight is the unstoppable buffs and also him throwing specials unblockable ones because if you got hit with one, you're dead. Other options that can work here are your slow champion. So I'm using a She-Hulk here because she is probably the best option here. And also you can use Red Guardian. Uh, Spider-Man Stealth Suit is also a good option. And Captain America Infinity War with a Mystic Champion. Why Mystic Champion is whenever a buff is nullified on the opponent, um, there's a kinetic charge on Captain America Infinity War and that will help you keep uh, removing that unstoppable from Hydra. Now. Having said that, remember there is also a 10% limber on him, so you can only do a few amount of stuns that is going to be 10 before those run out. So you have to play a very aggressive style. So She-Hulk works really well. Actually for this path, for selective stream, a better option would have been if you brought in Black Widow Clairvoyant and you could use her for the path as well because she can apply Incinerate once you change her to her incinerate phase and she can apply three of those debuffs very easily she doesn't even need to you know touch the enemy she can just charge her heavy and there's an incinerate applied on the opponent so she might be a better option to bring for this part but i brought in shield because i'm more comfortable bringing down that boss after such a long path you need somebody you can rely on so with she hulk once you have 14 to 15 furies just let don't throw any specials and you know, just build up your sp3 so when you run out of those limber charges you can throw an sp3 that will give you a long stun and that will easily help you uh, throw a heavy attack and apply slow on that up toy so i hope this helps guys and it helps to clear this path this is one of the annoying parts of 6.4.5 so i hope the tips and guys help you out if you did guys make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications and leave your comments down below with your questions i would love to answer them and apart from that i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time